And as tradition on the show, we always bring a new and unique craft beer to review and enjoy. So what are you drinking tonight? Let us know in the chat what you're drinking tonight. Guys, I'm going to start with Kevin Lyon. All right. So on Sunday, as well, we'll get more into later. I did uh, bump into Mr. Durango up there. On the way home, you know, I, I, I end up having a little bit more time to kill. So I stopped in. A great brewery that's actually located at Union Station in downtown Los Angeles. This is called Homebound Brew House. It's a beautiful building. I, I, I'm sorry I don't have more photos to show you the inside of it, but uh, hey, 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 sorry, sorry. I, I, I actually uh, have it. I have, I have it when you talk about it later. Sorry about that. Okay, cool. So you know what? Then maybe I won't go over it so much as of right now. But this is a location at uh, Union Station in downtown LA, where you get the trains into LA, and from there they also have a bus that goes from Union Station to Dodger Stadium. And it's called the Dodge Stadium Express. So more or less, they make a lot of baseball-themed beers. And this is a brand new one called Opening Day IPA. It's reapproaching old school IPAs of new school tricks. Amarillo, Simcoe, and Centennial treated with cool kettle temps and a big dry hop. Create watermelon candy, cucumber, white grapefruit, lychee, kiwi, and calamansi. Wow. And this comes in at 6.6. I had a, you know, I had a pint of it and I was like, you know what? I had another beers plan to have for tonight, but I'm like, man, let's get this in a crawler and get it to go. And hopefully I feel better after this crawler than I did after last week's crawler, which was yeah. sour, which, woo, I'll just be <laughs> feeling that one later. <laughs> Tuesday night was a little bit of a rough night at the end. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. This is a really great. IPA, I love. I'm definitely a fan of this one. You would enjoy it too, Michael Mondragon. Oh, I can imagine. And, you know, I I have not been to it. We went to it when it was uh, the brewery before this. Yes, it used to be a brewery called Imperial Western, That's and right. I think they closed just before. Uh, I think the end of 2019, maybe or maybe what the pandemic that shut them down. And these guys would open up, I believe, in. Uh, I know it was a little over a year ago. I want to say it was like maybe the beginning of 2022 because I've stopped here like two or three times. So every yeah. time I just leave the business card, I'm like, hey, here you go, guys, man. Happy. How do you over a brewery, which is Dodger themed too, by the way, you know? There are right. some Dodger uh, team beers related. Like the first time I was on, I had the Super Bowl. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. The old Brooklyn Dodgers would be called the Super Bowls. And uh, way back in my, way back in my peak, back in the early 1900s. <laughs> And uh, I haven't been there since it's a uh, baseball theme, so I'm looking forward to yeah. going there. Yeah, uh, the interior is still the same, and it's really nice. Like I said, that, you see the can there. The collar can is really cool. And, yeah, like I said, some, some baseball theme names to their beers. And the, yeah. everything I've had has been really good. And we'll we'll definitely see a little bit more of that um, in yeah. the pictures in the, the last segment and uh, or in, in our the next segment. And, uh, yeah, I, they always had really good beers and their baseball theme. So how can you lose? Uh, great choice here. This is uh, this is a good one. Yeah. Glad I have Ho it. Ho homebound is a home run. Yeah, homebound home. Yeah, homebound brew house. There you go. Boom. Exactly. All right, Jack. Uh, this one's. Uh, uh oh, look at this. Wow, he's he's there merching you up. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it, Jack. All right, boys and girls, while it's hard to have a bad day when the weather is beautiful and you're right off the Pacific Coast Highway in Malibu, California, Cowboy Jack Durango found a way to make a good day like that into an amazing day. My wife and I paid a visit to Malibu Brewing Company, and I can't sing their praises enough. The space is beautiful and serene and transports you to an almost zen-like state. It's so relaxing, so beautiful. You've got the ocean, you've got mountains, you've got green. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful space. Their tap room and eatery are designed to be a top shelf craft beer experience for aficionados and novices alike. Our server, Chelsea, was on top of everything. She gave us a little hookup, which I'll talk about later, but she also made some killer recommendations on the food. We sampled the chips with red roasted salsa, avocado salsa verde and chilled rancho queso very new mexico inspired food it was awesome we also had the garlic goat the garlic goat flatbread which was top shelf and we tried an order of the pork belly and sashimi deviled eggs that's what i, I want to try Woo! I cannot recommend these deviled eggs oh, enough, my friends. Oh. I would literally drive from my home in Phoenix, Arizona to Malibu, California, just for the eggs. Just for the eggs. They are out of this world, grand slam. 
Now, on to the beer. I was lucky enough to have a conversation with the owners, Ryan and Jill Ahrens, who couldn't have been more gracious hosts. And Ryan knows his craft beer. After telling him the three beers that I was getting in my flight and what my ideal beer would taste like, he made the perfect recommendation. So in my flight, I sampled the Canyon Rosé Lager, which an interesting beer. It's a California Rosé Lager. It's the best way I could describe it is if you mixed rosé and champagne. It's crisp, but it's dry, it's flavorful, and I would definitely try it again. Super out of my wheelhouse. I was sampling around. Definitely try it. You can't go wrong with it. It's a great beer. Then I stepped into the Hatch Green Chili Lager, calling back to his home state of New Mexico. Mm -hmm. Ryan came up with this concoction, and boys and girls of the Brunifers, it definitely something worth trying. Great beer that is good on its own or mixed to the perfect michelada. Oh. I know that we like to sample our beers alone, but the Hatch Green Chili Lager would make the perfect michelada if you're familiar with a michelada. So then, then I went into what I thought would be my favorite and still a stellar beer, which is their Tower 17 Double Hazy IPA, which is a great example of a perfectly cra crafted hazy. It's citrusy, it packs a major punch, it's flavorful, and this 8.2 percenter is a perfect breakfast beer, shower beer, or good night beer, depending on where you're at in your life. <laughs> or last three at once. <laughs> The last beer on my flight was Ryan's recommendation. It is Malibu Brewing Company's Wild Grove Hazy IPA. Guys, this is, it has that dank orange juice coloring that we like to see on a hazy. Mm -hmm. It, when you, when you smell it, you get powerful notes of citrus, almost like a high-end three-wick candle that's named Citrus Grove. <laughs> it is awesome. Then the taste, the tropical fruit taste that hits your taste buds like a hydrogen bomb and makes the Wild Grove IPA the clear front runner for Cowboy Jack Durango's beer of the year. Wow. Hands down. This is wow. the best beer I've had all year. Right on. Great recommendation from Ryan. I really appreciate it. So after my conversation with Ryan, there he is, my man. Uh, he was excited to hear about our little podcast, The Baseball Brew Crew. And he shared with me some news. And it's my great pleasure to break that news tonight exclusively here for the Bruniverse. Malibu Brewing Company's Pacific Gold Lager will now be available to enjoy while you watch Dim Bums at Dodgers Stadium. Wow. wow. He is in the show now. Yeah. Cheers, Ryan. I recommend if you are in California, please, please, please go and visit Malibu Brewing Company. The staff is amazing. The space is amazing. The beer is amazing. It's one of my new favorite places in the world. And uh, when you go there, don't forget to let them know that Malibu's favorite cowboy, Jack Durango, <laughs> sent you. Nice. Oh, th thank you for, for I, we almost forgot that nickname. That's number 774 on the list. Yes. <laughs> Good job. I can't, I can't recommend it high enough. I, I just, yeah. I can't. It was, and it, everyone, you know, I, I walked out of there feeling special and, but everyone does the way they treat their clientele. The space is beautiful. I mean, and how, how could you have, dude, I was in Malibu. It was 64 degrees. I could see the ocean. I could see the mountains out on their patio. And I was having the best craft beer I've had all year. It's a good day to be alive, boys. It was mm -hmm. a good day to be alive. And thank you, Ryan and Jill and everybody at the Malibu Brewing Company. I'll never forget that experience. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Nice. That is and, awesome. and yeah, Yeah, dude, if you're unfortunate enough to be at a Dodgers game, check out the Pacific Gold <laughs> Lager and uh, numb the pain a little bit. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and also, Michael, um, Cowboy Jack Durango was nice enough to give me two cans. So I'll make sure you get one of those. Oh, of the, of the, uh, yes. Of that yes. Grove, of the Grove. Sorry. 
Fantastic. Yeah, yeah he's, I, he, I he's do got hope... a, a wild growth for you. So, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah, I was a, a couple of things here. I had so much uh, I'm holding sure. on to. Um, oh, yeah, we actually have a Dodger fit. So, yeah. So, so much. All right. So hopefully uh, this it comes in can. Uh, I noticed that uh, I'm I'm liking the when they have the can options at uh, Dodger Stadium because you don't have to deal with any of the foam. You don't get a, a $20 cup of foam, um, which which is uh, pretty synonymous sometimes with Dodger Stadium. It's, it's unfortunate. Hey, hey, and Michael, we didn't talk Reno, – Reno, Nevada as well. Reno, Nevada had uh, yeah. had air in the pipes. Uh, we got oh. – we, we were getting half beers and we're just – They like, were trying to give us a half a beer and and, and, he, and Michael was – oh, I saw I saw the flames going like, no, you're going to give me more beer in this. <laughs> I, I go, I, I don't care if we stay in here for another 10 minutes. I'm getting that other uh, three quarters of a beer. Well, you're uh, paying $48 for a beer. you got to get your money's worth, brother. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I'm hoping that it comes in a can. Yes. Um, so uh, these are the these these are the actual cans. This is the first production run. This picture of the cans that will be sold. So it will be oh, sold in cans. Me. It's a 19.2 ouncer, and that is the first beer off the line that's going to be sold in Dodger Stadium. Nice, awesome. nice. So um, you said green chili. So we were just in New Mexico, and that is one thing that we were trying to find uh, is anything chili related. And so I didn't see too many beers with green chili or else I would have got them right away. The fact that they have a green chili beer and that they have uh, New Mexico roots is very cool because we just had a whole bunch of beers from uh, New Mexico and some great breweries there. So I'm definitely I, I want to go just for that. Um, and, and then how did you find this? Kevin, did you recommend this to, uh, him? Literally, he just said he was in Calabasas and he's like, dude, anybody know of a brewery? And I literally just did a Yelp in the area and there was like a, uh, like a brew, like some kind of brew pub or something like that. Yeah. It's a, a restaurant, more, restaurant, a restaurant that served beers. And next thing I said, Malibu Brewing. Oh, Malibu Brewing. My, and I just said him that as I like, hear, here's probably your closest brewery. And it turned out, you know, you're welcome, Jack. Yes, that's absolutely. Why, that's no, why thank you so, so much. Senior research analyst. All yes. Right? No, it was it was great. And R dude Ryan, like I said, he was so gracious. We were yeah. we were heading out the door, and I was just over the moon. You know me, I'm over the moon happy. And the uh, the six pack that he sent mm -hmm. us home with, he just he made sure that was on the house. Oh, he really nice. he was born in uh, Roswell, New Mexico. Grew up in Albuquerque. Just a one of the good brothers out there. Um, can't, I, I mean, he was awesome, man. Like, I wanted to sit and talk with him for hours. He's just a great guy. Great guy. Yeah. No kidding. I, 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 I've, I've been to Roswell. It is a very small city and uh, uh, famous for, uh, I, I believe, one of the, it, the rumor was that, that the alien crash uh, happened there and <laughs> – you know, the Foo Fighters uh, planes came out and chased it down or something like that. It was like, there's, there's so many things about Roswell. So, that, that's so, so, so brother, I lived in a small town in New Mexico that's uh, pretty close to Roswell. It's uh, named Elida, New Mexico. It's literally, you blink and it's gone. And the aliens did land there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're going to land anywhere, I'll be right there. Yeah, yeah just, there. just just based on my family that lives there alone, dude. Yeah, they 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 landed there and they set down some roots, dude. And I'm the the, the Durangos came out of it, brother. Nice, nice. Well, we we have that to be thankful for. Awesome. Thank you for that, Jack. I mean, like Kevin has a baseball uh, themed brewery and beer. Uh, you have this amazing one from Malibu. Um, well, uh, I think that mine is pretty special as well. So my beer tonight is the Divine Reserve number 19. It is a spiced oat wine by St. Arnold Brewing Company in uh, Houston, Texas. And it is Texas's oldest craft brewery. And they started in the, the middle 90s. Oh, wow. And I was just there on my trip um, back to when I was in Houston. And I remember this brewery uh, from when I went to Corpus Christi. They had a beer from St. Arnold. It, it was the Art Car IPA. And it was tremendous. It was great. So I went, to, I saw some minor league baseballs where I saw uh, Seth Beer play. And uh, so I had uh, Texas's oldest brewery. Now, the cool thing about this, it's re reserve number 19. Mm -hmm. So you would think to yourself, 
is there a one through 18? You, uh, you would be correct. They've had barley wines. They started out with a barley wine in 2005. So this is the most recent one that was brewed in uh, October of 2018 and bottled in January of 2019. So uh, they've had like Imperial Stouts, Baltic Porters. They actually have, uh, this one's for my brother. They have an Adam beer, which I'm not sure what that is, but I want to look into it. Um, they've had a Russian Imperial Stout, you know, old, uh, old ales, double IPAs, uh, English barley wines, so many of them. So this is number 19 in the series. So um, as uh, inspiration for the Divine Reserve comes in many forms, this beer was inspired by a classic oatmeal raisin cookie recipe. Oh. Divine number 19 is a spiced oat wine. So I've never had anything like this. Uh, I, I've had spiced beer, but mm -hmm. oat wine I'm, I'm super not familiar with. Have you um, had barley wine? I've had barley wine, yes. Okay. So I'm, 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 That's I'm what I've seen. I never even heard of this. This would be the same. It, you know what it reminds me of, Kevin? It reminds me of your Christmas beer that you get from Unsung. The oh, the 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 um, oh, sorry, the uh, Snickerdoodle beer. Yes, yes, and it, it's off the nose. It smells totally like that. Um, it's it's uh, pretty dark, as you can see. It looks like, almost like the bottle. And um, let me let me try it now. It, and actually, this is a. 10.4 ABV. I was, was going to ask. I, I thought it'd be higher than that, actually, because those barley wines could be like 15, 16 percent. Yeah, and and 30 IBU. It has uh, the the malt are two row oat, uh, pale pale chocolate and carafoam. It actually has uh, the hops are one I've never even heard of called Pearl P E R L E. So a different type of hop as well. So let me I'm going to try this. It has uh, cinnamon and nutmeg in it as well. So let me taste this. Oh wow! <laughs> this is this is, um, so we had that one, the snookerdoodle one, Kevin. Yeah, that's a straight ale. Yeah, so this is gonna probably be this one. It, this one tastes like a little bit as it, it tastes like it has a little bit more carbonation in it, mm -hmm. and it, yeah, it tastes like uh, literally like an like an oatmeal cookie. Wow, it is really good. Wow. Okay, so it's a it's a beer that you have to drink with a knife and fork. I dig it. <laughs> oh yeah this is and, it, and it's one of those beers it doesn't taste like it's almost 11 percent alcohol um, well, jack would just drink this whole thing at once and not even you know, yeah yeah it, it, it would be like a, having a scoop of ice cream for him <laughs> just, <laughs> just wolf it down um yeah no this is really good you, and i i'm a, i'm almost afraid of it like when i drink it i'm just like um, it tastes so like good. You want to drink more of it, but I, I want to actually like taste it and, yeah. and uh, savor it a little bit. Um, but yeah, is it? Is it? Is it? I, does it have some meat on the bone? Is it a thick? Is it thick? It's yeah, yeah. It, it's um, it's kind of like caramely, like a, as a, that type of uh, consistency. But you can taste like the the oatmeal and like kind of raisin cookie. Uh, aspects of it, and maybe maybe a little bit more. I said a little bit more carbonated yeah. than uh, the Snookerdoodle. Yeah, and with that low IBU, I'm sure that's probably why. Also, it doesn't taste like a ten percent or you know. Right. Yeah. Totally. That's totally. Really and good. and I think that like the the Snookerdoodle one is more. It's like a blonde ale, correct? Yeah, it's like a blonde ale. The difference with that is too is that it has lactose in it. Ah, and that's there, that's there is that. Yeah. that and that this one, I I, I would I don't, I would assume it doesn't, but. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that it does, and uh, I, I did not. It see would list it specifically, most likely, because you know, so there's people obviously you can't have lactose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, this one's uh, tremendous, and I actually got this because it was, uh, it was one of those special beers. I go, I have to get one of the special ones that uh, that are seasonal. So uh, I picked this one up, and uh, nice. Nice. Um, yes, uh, Kevin, uh, I, I I have one of these for you. I I oh. unfortunately. I I'm not gonna, I don't know when I'd see you, Jack. So uh, right. we'll we'll just have to go to Houston and go to St. Arnold. Let's there. do it. Let's it do is, it. We have to go to St. Arnold. We gotta go to Eighth Wonder. We gotta go to Texas Leaguer. I mean, we have a, and oh, then uh, maybe we can go throw eggs at uh, Nolan Ryan's house. <laughs> yes, I'm in. I'm in. I'll knock on the door and challenge him to an arm wrestling match. Let's do this. I love it. I love challenge it. him to do it at his new uh, at that new complex. There's an opening that he's behind. Do you remember the name of this thing? It's, it's oh. mostly like Top Golf, except it's baseball related. Yes. I'm yes. sorry, I can't remember the name of it. 
I can't remember either. It's it's on the tip of my tongue, but uh, yeah. it's in it's in Katy, Texas. K A T Y, and uh, yeah, it's like it's like Top Golf, but with baseball. And it's, uh, and it's probably the only good thing in Katy, Texas. I've been there. <laughs> Not great. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's right. Uh, Dutch Chattahoochee is in uh, San Antonio. Yeah. Yes, sir. Right. The home run dugout is what it's going to be called. Thank you. That's right. Yes. That's, that's it. Right. Yeah, I think it was like to open at the end of last month. Yes. Yeah, dude. Yes, I remember, dude. I'll get, I'll get, I'll get <laughs> American I'll get hero. Justice. I'll get justice for Robin Ventura, dude, for exactly. sure. Yeah. And wait, Craig, we, hey, don't forget Craig uh, Graybeck. Remember that guy too. Yeah, right? Graybeck. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the unsung hero in there. Great stuff, guys. Thank you so much for that. <laughs>